So it's been a very weird day for hockey today as the NHL announced that Shane Pinto was being suspended for 41 games. In their statement, they said specifically that Shane Pinto has been suspended for 41 games for activities related to sports wagering. The league's investigation found no evidence that Pinto made any wager on NHL games. So this is a massive suspension, half the NHL season. And what's weird is that we have no idea what happened. I mean, they say no evidence that Pinto made any wagers on NHL games. I at first thought this might be something related to gambling on another sport. We saw that recently in the NHL, but I looked into the CBA and it seems like players are actually free to gamble on other sports. And that's been seemingly corroborated by others online. Most likely then what Pinto did was gamble not on individual NHL games, but other aspects of the league. Like we could be talking futures, what teams would make the playoffs, who would win trophies, etc. And I mean, you obviously don't want players gambling on things they could have an outcome on. That being said, I don't miss the irony here. The NHL has been more than happy to cuddle up with any gambling company, no matter how shady, who wants them. I mean, the Senders have had Bet99 as their helmet sponsor. Anyway, this is pretty devastating news for Pinto. He was technically a rookie last year, had 35 points, was hot at times. This year was holding out as an RFA and hadn't signed yet with Ottawa. It seems like they were getting close, but insiders have reported that Ottawa put the brakes on that when the investigation was made known to him. Now, he can't sign until the 41 games, which actually starts at the beginning of the season, expires, but he can actually sign with the team after that point. Overall, I mean, just a really, really messy situation, but that's the thing about gambling. It's addictive. Even these players who have tens of millions of dollars potentially in career earnings ahead of them, they can't help themselves.